Hello, I'm Yelia, and in this screencast, I'm going to teach you how to use the power of Sunflower to turn practically any audio into a karaoke machine. Now, granted, I must say, to start out with, that it's not a very good karaoke machine, because the only way that you can really get to remove the vocals is to have the original Motri tracks and just mute that singer, because no one wants to hear the singer. And, but aside from that, how this works is that audio, stereo audio, has a left and a right channel, okay? Yeah, and it has this theoretical centre channel, like anything that's centre panned. Well, what happens is that this effect is to remove whatever is panned dead centre. So if you have a dead centre vocal, hey, it will work fantastic. If it's off to the sides or if, like, there's reverb on it that goes off to the sides, then you're screwed. But, you know, this will provide endless entertainment. Probably hours or at least minutes. And sadly, sadly, I cannot actually show you how to do this live because I blame my screencasting software. So what I did was I recorded a, a little clip and I'm gonna play it for you. With no effects first, so you know what it originally sounds like. Now clearly you can hear that Tori Amos is front and center or something. So what we're gonna do is create a utility effect again and insert this on the channel and then what we need to do is to invert so we're flipping one of the sides and I don't think it matters which one you flip and then you need to convert it to mono and then if we play it again So there you go, literally minutes of entertainment. So in order to do this via the power of the sound flower, you will need to go into your system preferences and to sound, and then make sure that sound flower is set as your output device. And then basically anything that uses like the system defaults or whatever, such as like Spotify or iTunes, will then be routed through the wonderful Soundflower. And then in Logic, you go into your audio preferences and make sure that your input device is set as Soundflower. And then if I were creating a new track to do this, I would make sure that's stereo and make sure that's inputs one and two and create it. And then I'd click input monitoring. And then you'd be good to go. And I'd demonstrate it for you, but the screencasting software won't let me. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. Signing off now.